world's number one for plays in hip hop and R&B. Power 98. You got people having seizures on the phone lines. Power 98, you talking to Rick Ross. What it is? What's up? What's up, baby girl? What the hell? What's up, Ricky Ross? You already know I'm in the city. I'm at the hottest station in the city, Power 98. You know I what I'm at? I know. That's what it is. Where you going to be at tonight? Because I'm trying to be where you at. I'm going to be at Club Ice. Come through. Maybach Music Group going to be in the building. Oh, that's what's up. We coming. I'm getting my girls ready now. Believe that, baby. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, keep it locked right here. Make sure you cop that deeper than rap April 21st. I will. And move out of their way. I hear they blowing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all better stop it. Peace. Bye. People, there it is. Rick Ross, John Legend, so magnificent. Believe that. Believe that. We got him in the city right now. We got him in the studios. Ricky Ross. The boss. I'm in the city and I'm feeling magnificent. We promoting this big album that I got Kanye on. Lil Wayne on, Robin Thicke, The Dream, Neo, my roster. It's just the biggest and uh, most anticipated album of the year. All the sexy ladies out there, you're going to be more than satisfied, baby, I promise. We had the homie Jay Holiday up in the studios earlier this week, and he was trying to tell us, man, this song I got with Ross on my album is so yeah. sick. Yeah, we talking about shooting a video for that. That was something that they reached out to me on. Sent me the record, you know what I mean? I smoked a little Fruit Loops, you know what I'm talking about? I smell you as we speak. <laughs> yeah, I came up with a few ideas and images, and I put them down, sent them back to him, and I sent him a record to jump on. He showed me a lot of love, so shout out to the boy Jay Holiday. No doubt, no doubt. He was definitely telling us that that's one of them records that we got to be checking out right there. Yeah, yeah. It's like we took us a, uh, he took a Biggie Small Loop. Mm -hmm. the, uh, I, I got a story to tell record, and we flipped it, you know what I mean? And it came out extremely hot. And who better than you? Boss. <laughs> you know, I just wrapped my, lab my label deal situation up. Shout out to Def Jam Records, believing in the boss. But, um, you know, right after we dropped this classic album, April 21st, we got Triple C debut album coming, as well as Mass Pike Miles. And I have a, ra a uh, reggae addition to the label. I just signed the hottest reggae artist in South Florida. Okay. He just collaborated with Vibes Cartel. So we just doing a lot of big things, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to... Um, make my uh, mark as an executive, you know what I mean? I hear that, man. So Incog just handed me this CD right here. What's the song we getting ready to let off right here? Well, what we finna do is uh, give Charlotte most definitely a gift by the by the name of Cigar Music featuring Maybach Music's own Mass Pike Miles. It's got the internet jumping like the playoffs. So it only made sense I was at the hottest station in the city to come bring them that exclusive. How did this song come about right here? What's behind the lyrics on this right here we about really, to get into? The concept behind the record is really during the midst of war, you got to be able to take a little time out of the day and broil you a lobster tail with a little butter in it, a little garlic, obey seasoning. You might want to get you a porterhouse T-bone, let that broil 40 minutes and a nice baked potato and just enjoy your life. Oh man, it sounds like the beef is well cooked on this note right here. What more yeah, can we say? Go ahead, music, let baby. it off, what baby. <laughs> All right, we're talking about all kind of beef that's uh, you know cooked, well done, whatever the case may be. Right now, you're engaged in a heated beef with none other than Fifty Cent. I ain't gonna front it ain't beef, man. Why from beef get yellow tape? White sheets, uh -huh. your mama, mucus. Uh -huh. It'll be taken there. Tears. Because I know a lot of people dresses. rolling out. They're like, I know this dude ain't getting ready to have Rick Ross. He ain't even about to ask him about what's going on. Because, you know, a lot of people down here, you know, when stuff happens across the country, people don't actually know about what's really, really good. They just know about what they hear. And, you know, they might just say, man, I'm some grown man. They need to sit down. What, what, do, what do you say about people that come out with that kind of approach? You know, I just look at it like, you know, I'm going for the throne right now with this album, mm -hmm. and he's a monkey, and he doesn't make music like me. And in the South, we put people on. We don't we don't tat them down. We ain't fake beefing with the imaginary beast. You done beef with everybody five years. You ain't bumped into nobody. <laughs> nobody. You ain't went to Foot Locker once. A lot of people want to know how it got started, like initially, because the first blow they heard was you on there talking about his baby mom's going in like that. Yeah, that's good, too. That's the best way, and that's how I like it. You know what I mean? We just, you know, it's just different directions. You know what I mean? It's a lot of, it's a lot of stuff that's been going on, but, you know, that don't motivate us. What motivates us is continuing to put out number one albums, hit records, and just to continue to enjoy life. 
You know what I mean? So that's what it's about. We saw the cartoon you made on them too. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the dude that made that. You know, I don't really get into the online, you know, situations, but you know, people was just doing things and you know, it was all up. So uh, would you say this thing is anywhere near being over? You know, you know, when people like me ride, we ride for life. You know what I mean? So, but is it a priority? Of course not. Am I taking it personal? Of course not. I'm here in Charlotte. I'm going to be in Club Ice tonight with all the sexy hey. ladies in the city. Shout out to all the G's. These dudes can't go to Club Ice. You'll never see them there. But I'm going to be there tonight. So come kick it with the boss.